Good evening. It's very good to see you all this evening. Um, <clears throat> I hope you've had a good week thus far, uh, and uh, just very glad to see you all uh, today. I got something uh, that I want to share with you this evening, just a very simple message, something that I think um, uh, hopefully will, will give you some assurance. And, um, but the, there's two things I want for you to uh, be abundantly clear about tonight. Uh, two things that you can know for absolute certain. And the first of those is that God loves you. And he has given, he has given us um, an incident uh, in this world that gives us that assurance. But the second thing is that judgment day is coming. And you know, the same incident uh, gives us that assurance. You know, we're all familiar with John, uh, the third chapter, uh, in verse uh, 16, where the scripture is there, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And in verse 17, it goes on to say, for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And there's another place in uh, the book of Acts. I know you're all familiar with uh, Paul's discourse at, uh, at Athens, at the Areopagus, or sometimes called Mars Hill, when he discovers uh, a group of men who were meeting there to discuss uh, uh, some new things, but uh, they also, they had altars to a uh, host of gods, but they also had this altar to the unknown God. So Paul goes on to explain to them that this one that they uh, would call the unknown God is the one true God. And then he mentions uh, some other things to help them to understand that God is not one who is made with hands and, uh, and or who needs anything uh, from us. But in, but in verse 30 of, of Acts uh, chapter 17, uh, the scripture there say, for truly, God once uh, overlooked, truly this ignorance God once overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent. And it goes on to say in, uh, in those verses, for um, God has given, um, and I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll get to that place and read it here in just a second. It says, for truly, <clears throat> these times of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he has ordained. And he has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. And so the two things that we can be absolutely certain of because Christ came and he was sacrificed on our behalf, we can be sure that God loves us, but we can also be sure that judgment day is coming. You know, earlier in the book of John, uh, the, the, the thing that preceded uh, the portion that we looked at helps us to understand how we can uh, move forward with this understanding that first of all, God loves us. He has given his son and, um, and for that very purpose so that uh, men might not perish but have everlasting life. And so this evening, if you are uncertain about where you stand with God, you know, in the, in the early portion of John chapter three, there was a discussion with the one uh, Nicodemus and um, and he was told that in order to see the kingdom of God, you must be born again. And so if you find yourself 
uh, and you haven't obeyed the gospel, that is, you've not been born again, you haven't been baptized for the remission of your sins, then you can have that opportunity to do that this evening. And, um, you know, First Timothy, uh, the second chapter, verses uh, 4 and 5, uh, the scriptures there give us uh, one other very clear um, uh, consideration to the things that we've already talked about. But it says there, for there is one God and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. And so if there's anything amiss in your life this evening, that is, if, you, if you've already obeyed the gospel and, and you understand what it means to serve God, but you've fallen, uh, you, you've had uh, some things come into your life that have caused you to fall away, then there's a place for repentance. But if you've not ever obeyed the gospel, then now is the time to do that. And so whatever your need is this evening, if you would please come while we stand and sing. <laughs>